Okay. Okay. Ginny, should we do this straight up or rush rush it? Um, I think we should dance like there's no tomorrow. Are you a little under the influence? I'm a little spellbound. Good night, my love. Hold on. I ain't ever going to give you up. <laughs> You're crazy cool. And I'm forever your girl. I'm blowing kisses in the wind to you right now. Bend time back ar- around and get your groove on because this lady gives me sexy thoughts. It's going to be a hoedown, yo. Paul- so you think you can dance? <laughs> Paul Rabdor, welcome to Rise Up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard an intro like that in my entire life. Did you like life. it? Oh, it was fantastic. Well, we apologise. We only fitted like 30% of your songs in there. But they were the most fun ones. I mean, hoedown, seriously. I'm telling you right now, this marks a first for me. Really? No one's ever been that creative. Oh, well, thank you. Have... Good on you. Oh. <laughs> See what you did there. Absolutely. Now, uh, you're obviously, you've been here for a while now, so you have experienced Tim Tams as well because we have... A packet of Tim Tams. It's, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be an Aussie interview without a packet of Tim Tams. I mean, bless you. It's going to go straight to my hips because um, that's all I've been eating here are Tim Tams, mint slices, and lollies. Lollies. Actually, I, I will wait until I can do a Tim Tam slam. Oh, oh. we were going to do one with you, but we weren't sure what you. Oh, I, I'm game. You're game. <laughs> I'm game. Now, game are on. you game enough to try Vegemite on toast? I was just going to tell you, if there's lots of hot butter on there, um, <laughs> I'm game. You're it's game. not that bad. I was, like, freaked out at first. And then I had it where the, it was really hot, like melted butter with a little bit of it on there, and it was rather good. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think I'd like it. Do you, do you know the tagline actually says it'll give you rosy cheeks? Did you have that experience afterwards? I don't think so. <laughs> See, I took it on my bread for like six years in elementary school. My cheeks aren't any pink. Well, see, I don't understand people who just eat it out of the jar. It's oh. like kind of scary to me. Yeah. No, we don't even do but that. But they say we're weird in America because we put maple syrup over bacon. Ooh. Over bacon? But it's good. It's that, that sweet yeah. and that salty thing that goes on. Sweet and savory. Yeah. Lovely. Now, you are here in Australia for So You Think You Can Dance Thursday nights on Channel 10 in Australia. It's been exciting so far watching it. Have you been enjoying the experience? I'm loving the experience. I love working on the show, and and we all get along, like, ridiculously well and have so much fun taking the piss out of each other. <laughs> um, it's We have a blast, and the kids are amazing. The contestants, you know, it's getting hard because in about a week or so, everyone's favorites are going to be in the bottom three and and that's the hard part you know just letting them know at the end of the day it is a competition someone's going home each week until the end and the best part is just to enjoy every minute of it and and take some risks be bold and daring and just go for it because it's like now they have to kind of get out of their comfort zone and really really like like they say in America, balls to the walls. <laughs> go big or go home. And it's I I encourage them to really take those risks. So what if you fall? At least you went out there doing something that you never thought you could do. Do you ever get that feeling where you're just watching one group and we know that there's people that can dance brilliantly and there's obviously people that can't. Do you ever get that feeling where you just want to take off your shoes and go, hold my shoes, I've, I really need to show you how it's done? Um, <clears throat> maybe in America I would. I just would feel a little bit like... It's already hard enough that I'm saying some things that people don't understand. <laughs> like, like, like I, I said to these amazing contestants, I have two words for you, phenomenal. And you could hear a pin drop. <laughs> and then I said, hey, that's one word. <laughs> and you could hear a pin drop. And so I'm like, certain things that are like natural for me to say, <clears throat> I'm feeling like, oh, this might be American Idol all over again, where, where somehow I'm misunderstood. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I think that uh, I always threatened that I might just bust a move, but, you know. We're, we're, we're waiting for that to happen, just to see the, well, the moves Shannon's, come out. Well, Shannon's done it. Shannon, our, our, my fellow judge, who sits to the right of me, he's performed. He did a great job. Um, who knows? We'll see. And Paula, what are you looking forward to most about this competition? As you're obviously judging here in Australia, you've done stuff over in America. What are you looking forward to most? Just for me, I love being around talent and I love nurturing, you know, raw, untapped talent. I just hope that, you know, some of what we say and 
give you know constructive criticism and that we can like shed some light and um, wisdom and experience to to let them know that you know there is a major career that they can have and how to pace yourself and how to not get caught up in in um, you know it's important to treat a crew really wonderfully because they light you properly <laughs> you know you don't it just all the all the things that are really important like life lessons if they want to make to you know make a career in show business and that um that I want to make sure that they actually live their full potential now you've been dancing for, for many years going back before you choreographed for Janet Jackson going back before you were um, a cheerleader at high school and also for the LA Lakers which is really exciting and for, for me it's really exciting because I'm like wow that's fantastic for my dad who's a who's a basketball he's like oh my, yeah she, she definitely was the cheerleader and he's like really <laughs> jealous but even going back further I've been doing some research uh, your fir- was your first musical influence the fact that you were babysat by Michael Bolton at the time his last name was Bolton Bolton. Oh, Bolton. Yes, ah. he, he changed it to Bolton. I understand why. And is that you? Did you like fix him up and say, "Honey, you've got to, you know, do something about your image well, if you want to be taken seriously"? Yeah. Fun, well, no, I was seven <laughs> years old when he was uh, seventeen or sixteen. Didn't mentor him then. Didn't mentor him then. <laughs> but it's so interesting how my life has always come full circle. When, when I was seven years old, my I, my very first concert I ever went to, my sister's high school boyfriend would be overnight got the job to be a drummer for the Jacksons oh, and wow. opening in, in at the MGM in Las Vegas. So at seven years old, we all piled in a car and drove to Las Vegas. My very first show was the Jacksons. And then 10 years later, I ended up working with them. Wow. So with Michael Bolton, he was my babysitter. <laughs> and then almost 15 years later, I actually took him to the American Music Awards and I gave him his first award for best new artist. Wow. wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I mean, it's it's cool. My, you can't make that stuff up. Huh? No, and my neighbors were the Carl brothers that were in the group Toto. <laughs> and then I choreographed for them. Like, all the, like the really cool things, you know? Now, also, we heard that you've been doing a bit of acting work as well. You've just uh, filmed a cameo to appear on the, the soap show Neighbours here on Channel 10 in I, Australia. I'm a huge fan of Neighbours. Are you really? I am. So I was very excited to go down and meet the cast. And, uh, you know, I, I play a very difficult role. What role was it? Paula Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> How does one play Paula Abdul? Do you have method acting behind that? I, or? I, I had to go through a lot of processing and I wanted to know at what age of Paula Abdul do I want to play? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was really excited because um, they let me come and play with their family and I got to meet wonderful veterans who've been there for 20 years, 22 years. Yeah. And I like played a little scene with Dr. Carl Oh. And Sheila and Susan. Now, Dr. Cut. Carl's had a history of uh, having other women in his life, like before it was uh, Nicola Charles's character, Sarah. You didn't... I'm not going to... You can't tell us anything, can gonna... you? I don't kiss and tell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well... Look, thank you so much for talking with with us, spending time with us. Um, you are a fabulous judge on So oh, Thinking and Dance you. Australia, which is Thursday nights, 7.30 Thursday on Thursday nights, 7.30. We're excited about the new day and time. Absolutely. And we'll be watching. Absolutely. I hope so. My sister actually is a big fan of yours. When I was like six or seven, she, we used to have cassette players back then. She used to play your song over and over and over I'm again. so sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I accidentally recorded over half of it. <gasps> Don't tell her that. Didn't mean to. I was doing my own radio show practicing for this. Yes, but I But I did intro your song. So Fantastic. Yeah, even though it was half of it. That's quite all song. right. Uh, anything to help your career out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't help me. Thank you very much. Paula Abdul, thank you so much for thank joining us so today. Thank you so much. Thank you.